Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I am bringing you a true all day clean with me. So much cleaning motivation in this video. I think I started filming around 10 o'clock in the morning and was still filming by the time the sun had gone down around six. So I hope that this video gives you so much cleaning motivation to tackle your to-do list today. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. My name is Meredith and I make lots of cleaning, homemaking, and lifestyle videos here on my channel so if that's something you guys are into then please be sure to hit that red subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump right in so I'm starting in my bedroom by stripping the bed sheets and I wanted to mention that on Friday I'm gonna be sharing my master bedroom refresh video I did a complete update in here which is probably why you notice there are no lamps or anything on my bedside tables I got a bunch of new things and I can't wait to share them all with you on Friday so definitely be sure your bell notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on that video I'm gonna stick all this stuff in the laundry and then we're gonna spend a lot of time in the kitchen because that is obviously the messiest part of my house totally random thing but I wanted to mention it since it's sitting here on the counter but Jack and I got these Godiva chocolate lava cakes from Target the other day they were in like the Valentine's Day section we were just kind of walking around and seeing what they had and it comes with a pack of there's six of them so you can make six individual lava cakes and oh my goodness you guys they are so good if they have them at your Target you need to go and check them out and they are so good with a scoop of ice cream on top really really indulgent and definitely a treat but I thought it would be really fun to get them for Valentine's Day and Jack's birthday which is later this week. So now I'm moving on to cleaning the stovetop. I'm gonna clean out my sink. I really needed to do some serious deep cleaning in here and it felt so good when it was all done. Since I was just talking about Valentine's Day, you guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you have any plans for Valentine's Day with your significant other. Are you guys going out, staying in, planning a trip? Let me know what you guys are doing. We're probably just gonna keep it pretty low key here at home. I usually just like to make a dinner anyway and play board games and relax. It wasn't really our style even before COVID to go out and do stuff like that. We just really like to keep it low key and just spend some quality time together. So you guys will have to let me know what you guys are doing down in the comments.
finish wiping down these countertops and make sure that they're all cleaned off and then I'm actually going to tackle the cabinets today. I noticed the other day when I was down on the floor playing with the cat how a lot of the lower cabinets had spills and drips on them and I feel like you don't ever really notice it unless you're down on the floor. You can't really see them from standing eye level but it was really bothering me and since I have white cabinets I just knew it had to be done so we're going to do that and then move on to some other tasks. If you guys are enjoying this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't left me a comment down below, go ahead and do that. Let me know what you're up to today. I love having conversations with you guys and connecting with you in the comments. Like it's totally typical in my cleaning videos now to have my cat come in and just completely steal the show. She's just the sweetest, but also kind of annoying sometimes. I'm sure you guys can relate to have pets or even probably your kids follow you around while you're in the middle of cleaning. A lot of times I spend shooing her away and I don't always include all of those clips in these videos, but I do spend a lot of time pushing her out of the way. She will always try to get in the toilet when I'm cleaning it too, which is really annoying or hop into the bathtub while I'm scrubbing it out. So you guys will have to let me know if you can relate to that. But now I'm going to disinfect my trash can. We're going to strip the guest bed. I had recently had a guest come and stay with me, so I just needed to clean and freshen up those sheets. And then I have to clean the bathroom, do some more laundry. You guys know the to-do list is a mile long. Me. Looking for someone who can play though. Want to hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gold and the gold you see What do you got? So take a chance, take a chance on me It's magical when you are close, so get close to me What do you got? Cause I am gold and I'm gold you 
So I can't remember whether I mentioned this in a recent cleaning video or not, but these wipes that I'm using here I got from Target probably a month ago and they're a pack of 100 wipes, which is why I got them. They didn't have any of the Clorox or Lysol brand ones. I've also bought seventh generation ones in the past. Those ones are okay, but these ones are absolutely terrible and they're so dry and really small. I feel like I use 10 or 12 wipes just on the toilet alone. Incredibly wasteful. I just really don't like them. They are antibacterial, so I did get them because that's all they had and I do wanna make sure I'm using antibac stuff on toilets because Otherwise, that's really gross, but I might just go back to spraying the toilet down with a anti-back spray and then cleaning it with a microfiber just because these wipes are getting super wasteful and I'm just not impressed with the quality. So if you guys have a good wipe recommendation, please let me know down below. The next thing we're gonna move on to is folding up some laundry. So if you have laundry sitting in your washer right now or your dryer because you need to fold it, here is your daily reminder and some motivation to get that laundry done. Holding back, I got history. The sun is starting to go down, so I'm gonna remake the guest bed now that all of the sheets are clean. And I really like to do this just so it is ready to go for the next guest. You guys will have to let me know down below what you guys do when you have a guest room. Do you leave the bed unmade? Do you leave it made with clean sheets? Do you leave the dirty sheets on the bed until the next guest is coming? I just kind of find if I have clean sheets on the bed, then if someone needs to stay, you know, for whatever reason, they always have a place to stay and the sheets are clean and ready to go. So the last couple of things that I'm gonna do in this video are vacuuming and then I desperately needed to mop the floors. I had a bunch of muddy footprints that were all in my downstairs because we had been working on the fire pit on this day, which by the way, I'm so excited. That's another project that I have been working on that I cannot wait to share with you guys. We have been working on it and it's been snowing around here lately, so it has been super slow. But in the next few weeks, I'm anticipating that it will be finished up, which will be so nice for the spring weather when it finally starts to get a little bit more bearable outside then we can have fires in the fire pit and I'm documenting all of that to share with you guys here on my channel so make sure those bell notifications are turned on
you guys are still watching, please leave a snowflake emoji down in the comments. That way I can thank you for watching this video all the way until the end. It really does mean so much to me, those of you who watch my videos all the way through, and it helps out my channel so much, so thank you. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And on Friday, like I said, I'll be sharing my master bedroom refresh with you so you guys can see all of the really fun updates I've done to the master bedroom. So if you haven't turned on your bell notifications, then hit the bell button down below so you can be notified on Friday when I upload that video. And thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys again real soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.